Coach Devin here. Today, I'm talking about starting slow to finish fast. Before we get going, please click the thumbs up down below and subscribe. Also, I put together some great free PDFs. They're down in the description. Uh, everything from Devin's Guide to Awesome Abs, Devin's at ri uh, Get Ripped uh, Meal Plan, which has lots of simple, uh, to the point, and fast uh, recipes in it. Uh, it's a guide to getting and staying lean down there. There's lots of stuff. Feel free to download them. That's my gift to you. All right, so everybody in the beginning when they start wanting to get more fit uh usually start way too fast and then they fall off and an example of that is uh, my friend dave so dave gives me a call last night and uh breaks down what he's doing he's like devin i am starving to death i feel awful i've been working out for like two or three weeks now uh and this is what i'm doing i'm uh, i'm lifting weights for, you know, five days a week for an hour. And before that, I do an hour of cardio. So he's got two hours of workout in. And I was like, all right, Dave, what do you weigh? And Dave weighs about 240 pounds, wants to drop down around 200. I was like, all right, well, that's that's doable. What, uh, what are you eating for food? And are you tracking your calories? And Dave says, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm eating about 1,500 calories a day. And I said, all right, how many calories are you burning in your workout? And he's like, ah, I do about 1,100 calories in the cardio portion of my workout, and then I lift weights. And I'm starving to death. I feel terrible. And I was like, well, there, there's a good reason you feel terrible, Dave. You're, uh, you're not eating enough food, and you're doing too much cardio. And this is, this is a perfect example. Dave is a normal guy, right? He's just an average guy. Lots of people are like, are like this out there, where you start really, really hard and really, really fast, uh, and then it's not sustainable, and you fall off. That is the problem in general with fitness. A lot of trainers will have you start super hard. I had a client one time that uh, her warm-up for leg day was 500 lunges, which is about the stupidest thing you can imagine. That's an entire workout right there. So it's a lot of times that people are just doing so much work on so little food that they fall off, uh, they get super hungry, and they crash and burn. So simple things to remember. You don't need an hour of cardio every day. I don't do an hour of cardio every day. I, I, I maintain fairly lean. I'm probably around 10% body fat. You know, I, I, don't, I don't do that. You don't need it. Uh, on our Project Fit, which is our transformation program, we don't have people doing that kind of, that kind of stuff because it's not healthy. It's not good. And, and the biggest thing is it's not sustainable. You're starting so fast and you're so tired and so worn out that you just you don't last on the workout plan. And if you don't last on the workout plan, you won't get anywhere. So too much cardio is bad. I mean, in reality, what, what do you need for cardio? Listen, cardio is good. I would say, you know, two days of cardio of some sort, anything from a hike to going for a run is, is sufficient. You don't need much more than that. Look, you're not going to burn enough calories doing cardio to get yourself ripped. Number one, number two, look around the gym next time you're there about all the people on the cardio equipment or any of them super fit. They're usually not. And the reason for that is it's people who are trying to lose weight, uh, that are on the cardio equipment, people who understand that, you know, there's other things that are more important than just getting on and grinding away at cardio are not doing cardio. So, you know, do two days of cardio a week, uh, do a little bit of cardio at the beginning or at the end of a workout, but I'm talking like 10 to 15 minutes max. You don't need more than that. Um, and then for workout time, do you need to be in the gym for an hour and a half? No, God, no, I, I don't do that. I don't have any clients that do that. And, you know, we get results on that stuff. So do you want to start with a two hour workout five days a week? That's 10 hours of your week. Do you have 10 hours to give up? Most people don't. Uh, I'll tell you right now, I, you know what? I love fitness. I own gyms. Uh, I spend all day in the gym, and I don't have 10 hours a week to give up on fitness. I just don't. You have kids. You've got things to do. Um, you've got a business to run. You've got work, whatever. You don't have time to put that kind of grind into, uh, into getting more fit. What you need is sustainability, and people who start fast are not sustainable. Uh, you can't do that long term. That's what I mean when I say sustainability. You have to be able to do this long term going forward uh, as a lifestyle change, not a I'm going to get ripped up today or tomorrow or next week. I'm trying to lose a bunch of weight right now. That's not the best way to do this. It needs to be a sustainable thing. And the food side of it has to be sustainable too. If you're like my friend Dave and you're eating 1,500 calories and you're burning 1,500 calories, you won't last long on that. Because in the end of the day, you're going to need uh, whatever your body weight times 10 for calories just to be alive. So no wonder Dave was hungry. No wonder Dave was cranky. Uh, he's getting 1,500 total calories. He's burning that off working out. And he needs another, you know, 2,400. And he's 
You know, like he's in a calorie deficit of 2,400 calories a day. So no wonder he's losing weight fast, but that's not sustainable. It's not going to work long term. And bottom line is here, don't start fast, start reasonably. Be reasonable in what you're doing. If you're reasonable in what you're doing, you're going to get results that are sustainable and will last a long time. If you're aggressive off the go, it, it just doesn't last. Bad things happen from it. You'll fall off. You'll stop. And that's what happens in fitness in general. Too many trainers give clients these amazingly hard workouts and long workouts. Nobody can do it. They don't have the time. They fall off. They get discouraged. And that's the end of that. Or diet plans that do not work long term because they don't fit the rest of your lifestyle. If I say to you, you know, you can, uh, you have to eat super, super clean every single day for the next month. You're not going to do that. You're going to cheat on it probably. So when you cheat on it, then you feel bad, bad things happen, and you know you, you, things snowball and you're off that diet plan, it doesn't work. But if I give you a plan that is sustainable, that you can do, that has some you know cheat meals in it, and you can do some things you want to do and have some fun with your friends and eat pizza with your kids, you know what, that's sustainable, you'll do that. So the trick in fitness really is to start slow and finish fast, which means start sustainably, don't bite off more than you can chew on the first round, uh, get yourself into a rhythm that you can do it. And fitness is about grinding through it. So when you start slow and you're doing what you can handle and you're still doing it six months later, then you're going to get some serious results or two months later. Then you get results because you've done it consistently on an ongoing basis for a while. And that's where real results come from. Uh, if you think you're going to do it by jump and trying to, you know, cut the line, life hack it and do just way more work. It doesn't work that way. Bad things always fall through. You know, it, it falls through my heart. It will fall apart on you, and two weeks, three weeks, four weeks down the road, everybody disappears. And that's why we see huge influxes of people in gyms in January, and by February, halfway through February, they're all gone. It's basically they've jumped in, they've done too much, too early, and then next thing you know, they're sitting around going, that didn't work for me. Well, it didn't work for you because you did too much. Don't do an hour of cardio. Don't spend two hours a day in the gym. Don't eat ridiculously low carb uh, calorie diets because it won't it won't help you long term. You need sustainability. You need to start slow to finish fast and to get the results you want. Uh, when you get a chance, click down there in the description. I have some great free PDFs for you. Uh, lots of options for you to download. Uh, it's my gift to you. Feel free to do that. Also, if you want to come in and get a free assessment here at My Gym 360 Fit, any of our locations, you can click the link down there. We'll hook you up. Have yourself an amazing day. Don't fight the awesome.